Welcome back guys. In today's tutorial we'll be making the CMOS NAND gate. So we will use file new cell view and create a new cell called NAND schematic. Then we will first add the two PMOSs necessary for our NAND gate. Note these two PMOSs will be in parallel. And then we add the two NMOSs in series. Then to improve readability, we will use a flip feature to flip the rightmost PMOS. We use rotate sideways and click the rightmost PMOS so that it's flipped. Since the two NMOSs are in series, we have to make their width twice as big as the original in order to match the speed of the CMOS inverter. So that will be 540 nanometers. And then similarly, we have to change the width of the two PMOSs in parallel because of the difference in the electron and hole mobility. And make those twice as big as well. Next, we add the VDD and the ground to our schematic. and then make the appropriate connections using wires. The two PMOSs will be connected in parallel and the two NMOSs will be connected in series. Then we make the bulk connections for the PMOS to VDD and the bulk connections for the two NMOSs to ground. And now we add the two input pins A and B as well as the output pin out remember to change the direction of the pin first we connect input A to one of the PMOS and one of the NMOS we do the same for input B to the other two unconnected MOSFETs we then connect the output pin to the node where the PMOS meets the NMOS. Click save and check. There should be no errors. And that's our schematic for our NAND gate. Then we will create the symbol for our NAND gate. Go to create cell view from cell view. And it will inherit all the pins from our schematic. As usual, we'll delete all the unnecessary components and organize the pin so to improve readability. Then we will use the draw line feature to draw part of a rectangle. And then use the draw arc feature to draw the top arc of our NAND gate. Finally, we will draw a circle indicating that the output is reversed, completing our NAND gate symbol. Click Save. Now we will create the layout for our NAND gate. Go to Launch, Layout GXL. First we verify the layers are correct. Start 0, End 20. We began by putting down the two PMOSs necessary for our NAND gate. As well as one NMOS. There are two NMOSs in our uh, NAND gate. However, we will tweak the one that we have so it will act like two NMOSs in series. Click on the NMOS, press Q to bring up the property editor. First, we change the width of that NMOS to 540 nanometers to match the one in our schematic. And then we change the number of fingers to two to simulate two NMOSs connected in series. 
Next, we move the two PMOSs such that one of their diffusion areas are overlapping the other. And we will call that the drain of our two PMOSs. And do not forget to resize the PMOS transistor. The width should be 540 nanometers for both of them. Next, we create the bulk connections for our PMOS, as well as the bulk connection for our NMOS. In-depth uh, tutorial can be found in my CMOS inverter guide. Do not forget to extend the N-well contact region. Then we add the metal strips for our BDD and ground. As well as another metal strip connecting the drain ends of our two PMOSs with the drain end of our one of our NMOS. Then we will use polysilicon to connect our two gates for the inputs. As you can see, I drew one of the polysilicons a little short, so we will use the stretch feature to make the polysilicon longer. It's the keyboard shortcut S. Click on the edge that needs to be stretched, and then uh, stretch it so that it makes contact with the other polysilicon. And we will delete that extra piece that I accidentally put there. And now we make the two contact points for our inputs using create via n1 underscore poly. And then we add the labels to make everything clear. BDD ground, A, B, and output. The output is where the two drain ends of the transistors meet. I almost forgot to add the second BDD strip from the source end of our second PMOS. Connect the two sources together. Then we perform the DRC design rule check. We can see that there are no errors. Then we extract our layout to perform the LVS. Make sure the fields are filled out correctly. It should be automatically done for you, but if they're not, fill it out manually. Hit run. After running, we can see that the net lists do match. And that completes the layout for our CMOS NAND gate. Thank you for watching.